Welcome to the Longaberger Basket Building in Ohio. A full-scale replica of the company's iconic product, only supersized into a seven-story office. Built in 1997, this architectural marvel isn't just a quirky design choice, it's fully functional. Inside, you'll find everything from open-plan workspaces and conference rooms to a gym, cafe, and even 25 underground parking spots. The massive basket handles? They're not just for show, they include built-in heaters to stop ice from forming in winter. But beyond its creative look, this building is a branding genius. It turns heads, sparks conversations, and draws visitors from around the world. People snap photos, search it online, and share it on social media, giving the company free advertising every day. It's not just a workplace, it's a landmark that blurs the line between product and place. And let's be honest, it might just be the only wicker basket in the world people dream of working inside. Meet the Hummer H1X3, an off-road monster so massive, it makes regular trucks look like toys. When a standard lift kit isn't enough, you go extreme. This custom-built beast stretches 14 meters long, that's the size of two Hummer H1s back-to-back. -back. It's 6 meters wide, and towers at 6.6 .6 meters high, making it taller than a two-story building. Power? Try four diesel engines working together to move this 20-ton Titan. Built by a shake with a passion for extremes, this isn't just a vehicle, it's a moving monument to off-road engineering. Now proudly displayed at the Off-Road History Museum in the UAE, it draws crowds from around the world. Even the biggest pickups parked nearby look like matchbox cars. The H1X3 isn't just oversized, it's a symbol of pushing limits. When bigger is better, this machine leads the way. When the ocean's freezing cold but adventure calls, you build your own sea. Welcome to the world's largest outdoor swimming pool, stretching an entire kilometer along the Chilean coast. Found at the San Alfonso del Mar Resort, this massive marvel spans 8 hectares, big enough to hold 64 Olympic-sized pools. But it's not just about size. This pool is fed directly from the Pacific Ocean, where water is filtered, gently warmed to the perfect temperature, and then returned to nature, clean and safe. It's an engineering masterpiece designed for pure enjoyment without harming the environment. From relaxed swims to kayaking across crystal clear waters, even sailing races, it transforms a simple swim into a full-on aquatic adventure. It's more than a pool, it's a playground powered by tech and imagination. In a world where innovation meets recreation, this pool proves one thing. When limits exist, build beyond them. Meet the beast that doesn't know the meaning of limits, the big profile. This Russian-made ATV is more like a land tank than a ride. Over 4 meters long and weighing 1.5 tons, it's powered by a 200-horsepower Honda K24A engine. It hauls 800 kilograms of cargo and can tow a full ton behind it, no sweat. Built to dominate Siberia's harsh terrain, the big profi doesn't flinch at swamps, snow, or steep climbs. Got a river in the way? No problem, this monster floats too. It's not the fastest in water, but it'll get you across without sinking. Whether you're deep in the wild on a hunting trip, hauling gear through the woods, or just making a dramatic grocery run, this machine turns every journey into an off-road adventure. It's bold, unstoppable, and unapologetically massive. Just don't expect it to squeeze into a regular parking space. Big Profi isn't just a vehicle, it's a challenge to the terrain itself. What happens when summer meets supersize fun? The UK built the world's largest deck chair, and it's as wild as it sounds. Standing a whopping 8.6 meters tall, this colossal chair is about the size of a two-story house. Even crazier, it was put together in just three hours, right in time for swim season. Crafted from heavy-duty metal beams and ultra-strong fabric, it's more than just a chair, it's a full-blown summer icon. Whether you're lounging nearby or just passing through, it's impossible to ignore. Today, it's one of the region's most unusual photo spots, drawing in thousands of tourists every year, all hoping to snap the perfect selfie. Climbing onto it? You'll need a ladder, nerves of steel, and maybe a safety net. But the real question isn't how big the chair is, it's when they're adding a giant umbrella and an oversized drink to match. Now that's a summer vibe worth scaling up for. Think a kayak is just a small, one-person ride? Think again. Meet the Tequila K100 a record-breaking, 12.2-meter kayak that can carry 100 paddlers at once. 
Built by the Swedish company 65 Sweden, this massive watercraft was created to celebrate their 100th anniversary, and it doesn't disappoint. With a sleek, modular design, it looks more like a floating train than a kayak. In fact, it's officially recognized by the World Record Academy as the longest kayak in the world. Imagine the coordination needed to paddle this beast, its teamwork on a whole new level. While it's impressive in size, maneuvering it isn't exactly smooth sailing. Turning this giant on a narrow river? You'll need more space than a cruise ship. Still, the Tequila K100 isn't just a kayak, it's a symbol of innovation, collaboration, and the kind of wild creativity that pushes boundaries. Who says a kayak has to be small? Imagine a massive flying dock that can lift boats straight out of the water. Meet the Liberty Lifter, a game-changing concept in cargo aviation. This isn't your typical aircraft. With a wingspan stretching 65 meters, the Liberty Lifter is designed to land on water and transport up to 23 tons of cargo, including small vessels. Its amphibious nature gives it unmatched versatility, allowing it to take off from sea or land with ease. What sets it apart is not just its size, but its vision, combining marine utility with airborne efficiency. This hybrid design could reshape how we move heavy cargo across remote or disaster-struck regions. Though still in development, its potential is massive. From powering next-gen logistics to assisting in rescue missions and humanitarian aid, the Liberty Lifter could revolutionize the way we respond to global challenges. In a world where speed, flexibility, and reach matter more than ever, the sky and sea is no longer the limit. When a simple paper plane is supersized into a full-blown flying machine, you get Desert Eagle, the world's largest paper airplane. Built in 2012 by the Pima Air and Space Museum, this beast stretches 13.7 meters long, has a 7.3 meter wingspan, and weighs a staggering 363 kilograms. That's right, something that once fit in your hand is now the size of a school bus. Launched high above the Arizona desert with the help of a helicopter, this engineering marvel soared through the sky at an incredible 161 kilometers per hour. It stayed airborne for around 10 thrilling seconds before gravity took over and it plummeted to the ground. While its flight was short-lived, the impact was massive, proving that even the simplest childhood toy can inspire incredible feats of design and imagination. It didn't last long in the sky, but for a few seconds, that giant paper plane made history. Meet the Tolkar Smartex, the largest industrial washer on the planet. This absolute beast can handle a staggering 340 kilograms of laundry per cycle. Standing at 2.7 meters tall and nearly 2 meters wide, it's built for serious heavy-duty use. Inside, the drum holds a mind-blowing 3,400 liters. That's enough space to wash hundreds of sheets, towels, or uniforms at once. What makes it even more unique? It's the world's first and only washer with gas-powered water heating, pushing efficiency to a whole new level. You'll typically find machines like this working behind the scenes at huge hotels, hospitals, or industrial facilities, where constant, large-scale laundry is the norm. It's a game-changer for places that can't afford downtime or delays. Just imagine how much detergent this thing goes through, definitely not your average load. The Tolkar Smartex doesn't just wash laundry, it redefines what cleaning at scale really means. Welcome to Rose Hill, North Carolina, home to one of the largest frying pans on the planet. Spanning a jaw-dropping 4.6 meters wide and weighing 2 tons, this beast isn't just for show. It was built with purpose, to cook up to 3,000 servings at once during the town's annual festival. Fueled by powerful gas burners and loaded with 757 liters of oil, it turns up the heat like no other. While it may seem like a quirky roadside attraction, this pan is a symbol of community, tradition, and southern hospitality, bringing thousands together every year for a feast cooked in one enormous skillet. More than just metal and fire, this mega pan proves that when a town comes together, even cooking can become legendary. Meet the world's largest quadcopter, a flying giant that's surprisingly feather light. Built by engineers at the University of Manchester, this massive drone spans 6.4 meters across but weighs just 24.5 kilograms. Its secret? Ultralight 5 mm foam board construction paired with four powerful electric motors and a 50 volts battery. Despite its size, this drone handles the sky with precision and power. It's still in the prototype stage, but its potential is sky-high, literally. 
Imagine drones like this transporting heavy cargo across cities or remote areas, cutting delivery times and lowering costs. With more development, it could even replace short-distance freight vehicles. It's not just a drone, it's a glimpse into the future of aerial logistics. Meet Bigfoot 5, the literal giant of off-road machines. Towering at 5 meters tall and weighing in at 17 tons, this isn't just a truck, it's a mechanical colossus. Built from a Ford F-250, Bigfoot 5 is like a pickup truck on steroids. Its 3-meter-high tires were once designed for military transport across the brutal Alaskan tundra. Each wheel alone weighs as much as a Honda Civic, let that sink in, but Bigfoot 5 isn't built for speed, it's built for awe. So massive that it's actually too big to compete in races, this beast is more sculpture than sport. It's a symbol of raw American engineering and the fascination with going bigger, louder, and stronger. Now retired and parked in Missouri, it silently stuns every visitor. People don't ask why it was built, they ask how it's even possible to drive. Because sometimes, greatness doesn't move fast, it just stands tall. Imagine watching your favorite game on a screen so massive, it feels like you're part of the action. Dactronics has created one of the largest LED displays on the planet, and it's nothing short of jaw-dropping. Stretching over 1,393 square meters with a crisp 14.1 million pixel resolution, this colossal screen transforms the fan experience at Comerica Park, home of the Detroit Tigers. Measuring an impressive 20.5 by 56.4 meters, it's more than just a scoreboard, it's a digital stadium experience. From ultra-clear replays and real-time stats to crowd-pumping graphics, this screen keeps fans immersed in every moment. It captures the raw energy of live sports and amplifies it for every seat in the house. In a world where engagement is everything, Dactronics redefines what's possible for stadium tech, blending entertainment, information, and scale into one unforgettable display. Because when the screen is this big, every detail mat. Ever wanted to high-five a giant robot? At the Gundam Next Future Science Exhibition in Yokohama, Japan, fans got up close with something straight out of anime, Gundam's massive robotic arms. Each hand is the size of a small car, towering over visitors with jaw-dropping precision. What's cooler, they can be remotely controlled in real time, yes, even to play a game of rock-paper-scissors. It's like stepping into the world of futuristic mech warfare, but with a playful twist. For die-hard anime lovers and tech enthusiasts alike, this is more than just a display, it's a glimpse into how robotics is catching up with science fiction. Watching these giant arms move so fluidly feels both nostalgic and groundbreaking. It's not just a tribute to Gundam, it's a sign of where human-machine interaction is headed. So, here's the real question. If you ever come face to hand with this towering mech, would you be brave enough to go for that high five? Meet the Saturn Lamp by UK-based Mathmos, a lava lamp like no other. Towering at 1.5 meters, this giant lamp isn't just decor, it's a moving sculpture. Inside, huge lava waves drift and swirl in slow motion, creating a hypnotic light show that feels like it belongs in another galaxy. The design? Pure retro-futurism, straight from the 1960s, yet timeless in its appeal. With its rocket-like silhouette, it looks like something pulled from classic sci-fi. What sets the Saturn lamp apart is how it turns ambient lighting into an experience. It doesn't just light up a room, it transforms it, making you feel like you're floating through a lava-filled universe. At $3,712, it's definitely a luxury. But for lovers of design, nostalgia, or just a touch of wonder, it's worth every cent. It looks like something out of a sci-fi movie, but this multi-legged robot is very real, and it's revolutionizing farming. Meet the latest creation from Ground Control Robotics, a high-tech weed control robot that crawls like a centipede across fields. Designed to access tight, tricky terrain, it moves gently using mechanical legs that avoid damaging the soil, unlike traditional heavy machinery. Equipped with smart AI, this robot scans the ground, spots unwanted weeds, and eliminates them with precision. It can either spray targeted herbicide or remove weeds from the root, no wasted chemicals, no soil disruption. Its design blends efficiency, environmental care, and cutting-edge robotics, a rare combination in agriculture. In a world where smart farming is the future, this machine shows how technology can boost productivity and sustainability.